guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 14 and 15 of I Cousin on Parade. I am sorry that this has been delayed by like two weeks for me because, you know, moving and packing and finally kind of getting settled. I'm still unpacking stuff and helping my mom with everything. But yeah, I just found out 17 came out today, so I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead because I was originally supposed to do last night. Um, 14 to 16 and you would have got that today and then I would have just had to do 17 and uh hug it to a pretty care I'm gonna hug it to uh healing go pretty care but I was like no I'm too little too busy I gotta do it today I gotta I gotta but yeah other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 14 and three two hold up and take two all right and three two one go let's see what these girls have been up to for the last two it's a good thing that I avoided a lot of things, thank god. And still have. But there is like one thing I've heard. I think I'm gonna wait until we get to the opening to talk a little bit more about it. That was the best moment in this show. Ah, uh, yeah. This was after the new, after the new year. Mm -hmm. So I'm like almost a month behind. Let's just use them. <laughs> no, that's Cotton. No, that's Lily. That's Yuzu and Lily. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the biggest things that I've been hearing about in the community for the last couple of weeks is that one that I don't think the show is continuing after this. I did find something out last night, earlier in the day, um, that there's supposedly a show by Sanrio taking over their time slot after this show is done. And this show is only really supposed to be like 25 episodes and we're literally being close to the end of the show. So... I mean, it's a little sad and heart. It well, not even a little. It's hella sad and hella heartbreaking. Cause, like I said, I've been with it. Like a lot of us have been with this show since it started, and other people have joined along the way. And I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, you joined when you did reactions." No, I've been with this show since twenty freaking twelve, ever since I graduated high school. Um, and I think it'd be weird not to have this show come on every Saturdays. I, I was thinking that. It was going to continue on for the next couple of years. I've seen what the Sanrio show looks like. And honestly, like, eye-wise, for the details and everything and the artwork, they have the Aikatsu eyes in a way. I'm not 100% sure. You would have to go look. Um, But honestly, I would be so sad if the show ended and they didn't do anything else to continue because it seems like the show still has a lot more to tell, whether it's with new characters or anything else with new stories and, and stuff like that. But it really just depends on, you know, Bandai and what they really want to do with the show still. It's one of the best things now. And they're really known for this show and several other things as well. I mean, because they were known just for Gundam, so, and now look at them. <laughs> I 
Ah, that makes sense. It's true. You all have really bad, unique personalities that can make this work. Mm -hmm. Nina was, she was in season two, no, she was in, uh, yeah, 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 because she was one of the exchange students earlier, I'm not 100% sure, either she was in OG Aikatsu or she was in Aikatsu Stars, she's in one of the two, I think it's Stars. <laughs> It's been such a long time since we've seen this, like, season, like, really, honestly, I cut two stars. Mm-hmm. 
It is still so weird <laughs> after so many episodes. <laughs> this is the only baby. Oh my god, Emma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, there you go. Is it weird that I want to see Yuzu and Emma and Yuna together? Hmm? An owl? Oh! <laughs> Well, yeah, because he's that type of... I don't remember the name of the owl. It's They talked about it in Kimono Prince, and it was so freaking cool. <laughs>
this had to be from the um from Makati season of Ekatsu Stars because I kinda remember her, but then not as much. She had to be that one one of the other um exchange students because you had the girl who has like a squirrel <laughs> her hair her bones all look like a squirrel tail. You had what's her face who was friends with Sakura. Um there's gotta be at least somebody else. Little thing. <laughs> <Animal> quiz. <laughs> Good, honestly, because she's one of those characters that we didn't even get to see that much because of the fact that it was ending. And we were going into I Cut Too Fun. I literally have no clue. Mm -hmm. Smile? Happiness?
Still makes you wonder, like, why in the world? Well, no, because technically they were a unit, but not really. It's confusing. That was like, okay, no, it's not even done yet, <laughs> but still. <laughs> it was all my time doing my favorite ending. So good. Okay, this was such a really nice episode. It felt like, even though it was the first new episode of the new year, it felt like a um. Just a relaxing episode, not really to worry about the main story and everything. It was just like, not like, it was kind of a filler episode in, the, in a nutshell, but it just felt like, oh, hey, we're going to take like a little side quest. And that's what it felt like the entire episode, even though it's still possibly just as important as the rest of the shows from episodes 15 to 17 when I watched them in a couple of minutes. But still, it was such good. <laughs> But still, it was such a good episode. It was nice to like really see Alko, like you know, developing her skills as an actress and finding out that you know she was going to be in a movie and she's going to be in Hollywood. And the fact is that she couldn't, she was going to be able to do a film or show. And sometimes it is like that for celebrities, where if they're doing something. They have to take a mini little hiatus until they're done filming like something else. Do come back better than ever and stronger and such. And I guess she, I guess when Otho does come back, she'll you know have a better, more positive, happy attitude. You know, but yeah, never know. It was also nice to have Otho like still kind of be featured in the episode, even though she wasn't entirely the main focus of this episode in a way because of the fact that you know. I still don't think they're doing her. Like, oh my god. But they just show, yeah, because there's Akko again. Is that Alice? Okay. Well, okay, good, good. Two weeks of Akko. That's good. She's getting a lot of focus and airtime because, as I said, when I did. The set, like, the last few episodes of season one going on into the second half of like Cut Two Stars. To me, and I think to a lot of other people, Akko didn't get that screen time that a lot of us predominantly wanted for her. It's just like they took her and they were like, okay, yeah, Akko's important, but not as important as these girls here. And it feels like she's getting the screen time, the dedication and everything that she rightfully deserved ever since 
I cut two stars. I think they're doing that with a lot of the girls who didn't really get that big of a, big enough screen time from whether it's all the way from I cut two to I cut two friends. But it's good. I'm glad that they're taking that. But I just, you know, the things that I talked at the beginning of this episode, I just hope I'm free that it's just not true. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 15. Okay, episode 15 in three, two, one. Go. You know what the funny thing is? We have not seen our five main characters in an episode together since. Episode 12 or 11, I believe. Want to press? I just a regular old music pack, okay. <laughs> That's cute. Doing a fan appreciation day. I mean, I, you know what? Mm -mm. I kind of wish that some of these episodes, like especially this and the things that have been, and, well, they did that with Aka with a lot in the first season, but like this, they technically kind of did something in like OG I could do where. Ichigo, Aoi, and Bran had a sign, a sign day where the girls basically signed autographs for like hours and everything. That was when Ichigo was trying to learn how to do her signature, uh, her signature that was complicated as hell, but in the end she figured out how to do it, which honestly, like if I could freaking draw that, I mean, that seems complicated, but it's just the level of detail. I wonder how, like, when they created that thing and all the way in season one and their ideas of it and everything, it just would have been so good to see how, like, it was done from start to finish. But I, you never know. Same thing with the other girls because we don't really get to see that anymore. And I kind of wish we had an episode where, um, whether it was Rocky or Yume, um, freaking Aine, especially Aine. When they were doing a, the first off by Cuts of Friends, where she was trying to figure out how to do her autograph. That would have been so nice to have a callback on that, but you can't have make everybody happy. It's okay. I get that. The name of the group. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Sheena. So underrated. Mm 
Well, you could do something for the unlucky fans. <laughs> oh. Makes sense. Oh, I mean, you You may. Yeah, something about that uh, reporting thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, they're so cute. Hmm. Interesting. I honestly think any flavor would be a Tomei's favorite because it's a Tomei. Oh my god. No! <laughs> this song is so old, but it's so good.
God, I'll never forget when Atome was looking for her premium roja. That was like the best moment for her. Oh my god. She was so <laughs> Yeah, and besties do fight, and that's okay. <laughs> they basically tolerate each other. They tolerate each other. Or really, it's more of Akko tolerates <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute.
Uh oh. It's a star trickle for the year. <laughs> oh, this looks so cute. Of the eye cutsy rangers. <laughs> Y'all pretty cute now. This is perfect. This is something that I feel like Idol Master would possibly do as well. This is so cute. Oh my god. I mean, because it's obvious that these three, they're in a unit themselves. It just makes you wonder, like, is it going to be Ichigo with Rocky and anyone new, possibly, or old? I could see maybe Seta being in a group with them, too, because, of course, she works well with both. But who knows? That was everything I needed. Oh my god. It was so cute. I loved it.
That was so cute. Oh my god. I loved it. Oh my god. It's like, you know, you know when you were a little kid and you watch one of the interactive like TV shows and all like that. That was so adorable. <laughs> It was perfect, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, you guys deserved it. <laughs> oh, I want to go to theme park so bad. Theme park sounds so good right now. <laughs> I'll even go go. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. That was perfect. Oh my god. My jam. My jam. Started. Let's go. Yes. Oh my God. This song is so. Oh, it's still so good. They they bring out the good songs. Yes. I got through. You doing the work, baby. Oh my God. But this episode was amazing. I loved it for what it was. Interacting with her fans and everything was so freaking cute. Because with Puta Puta Farid and um, Fua Fua Dream, Fua Fua Dream. They are, they're, uh, they're, they're fan or their target audience is kids, of course, because I mean, each girl by themselves, they're either going to have an audience of kids, little kids, preteens, somewhat adults, how like my range of audience is because I have, I don't have little, little kids. I have maybe kids who are like preteens and then I have teenagers and then I have adults and that's my audience and stuff. I go in for three different things while some people are, are strongly just to kids. Some people are just to teens. And some people are just to adults. While there are some that are their general audience is everyone. And that's what I kind of really think, think mine is. It's kind of like everyone. Even though my predominant audience is like teenage to adult or preteen to adult. And some of them can like really understand how I feel and everything. And yeah. But it was a cute episode. Oh my god. Both of these episodes were good as I And I love them both. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, some of my other favorite girls are gonna be in the second episode. There's too many girls in this show overall, but still I love it. I still love the interactions of them together, even though we are like really close to being done with this show. I'm guessing it's gonna be done like maybe mid springtime because of the fact is we are very close to the we're we're now at the halfway point of winter. And we, you know, since we can, well, with some of the shows that I'm predominantly watching, some of my shows were at the halfway point while the others were like maybe either two weeks behind on the halfway point for their shows or even a week behind. But still, it's just like, oh my God, like it's coming so freaking quickly. And like predominantly, I really just don't want this show to end. I've loved this show for the longest time. And I predominantly, like, I love it just as much as Idol Master or any other, you know, Idol series, even Love Live and everything else. I can't see this show not continuing after this because of the fact is, it to me, it feels like 
there's more to the story that they're gonna have something so I'm, I'm not really gonna until like one of my subs or people who I'm very close with and my connections and friends and stuff like that could possibly like we have we have like a conversation and just sit down and talk for a couple minutes about it because there's some things that like I said I've been seeing they've been seeing and so we could try to see if we can picture ourselves or if I could I'll probably go on like Twitter or YouTube or Tumblr just to see what predominantly is happening with the Infatsu um series because I just can't see or picture this show not continuing you know but yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 14 and 15 of I Got to Want Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, well, not really next time, but maybe in a couple of minutes. Or, depending on what time this comes out, because I think I'm going to have this come 30 minutes apart. So, in 30 minutes, possibly, for episode 16 and 17. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Thank you.